Hey guys! Hey guys! I hope you're doing fine. Good evening, good afternoon. From Mama Africa, Mama Uganda. Africa. Guys, I'm from Africa, Uganda. In case you don't know, today we're going to be having an amazing video. We are going to be cooking breakfast. Yeah. This is how breakfast is cooked in the villages. The from the cow it's so so uh, like thick like this kind of thick milk without any water any process just from the cow you know guys cow, milk comes from the cow so this is from the cow we got it from the vendor they have many cows so after they milk their cows they distribute it to different homes here in the village and you can decide to tell them to be bringing food for a month you pay them monthly or you can decide to pay every day for last year we pay every day for this kind of milk so it's done we're going to be um 
cooking for breakfast and guys let me know it, let me tell you if it, if someone has like so many cows and the cow they are not female cows all cows uh, they are female and they have not given birth you cannot have milk there must be a female cow in the, among those cows that has given birth then you're able to get this milk <laughs> maybe you'll be sharing with a cow for this cow sucks you also uh, the milk and you know or you milk at home and have some milk to drink for breakfast so let's put our milk on fire now our water is ready and you can see it's very very super ready you see <laughs> it has boiled so i will be mixing in cold water definitely so i'm going to show you how we do it so this is the milk i'm going to cook for breakfast so that is it so this milk i'm going to pour in um it's two cups of milk so I'm going, I'm going to be pouring in two cups of water because only two and a half to make it more dilute because grandma is not supposed to be drinking thick milk thick milk i think uh, the doctors advise her not to take it so some people love it but yeah for some reason she's not supposed to take to drink thick milk so let's get a cup and pour in water into the milk so guys, you can, this is the cup I'm going to use. So you can use uh, cold water or hot water to mix in the milk, it doesn't matter. So for me, I'm going to be putting in cold water from the gym. And I'll make sure this cup is full. You see, it's full. So cup one. So I think I'm going to put it into a cup. Yeah. That is it, guys. So mixed in two cups. In that way, the milk even, even, even becomes too much, like it becomes enough for everybody when you mix in uh, two cups. So it just depends on how you want it, yeah, as long as you are able to take the thick milk. So, guys, let's uh, go and start taking a bath immediately from here. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm going to leave the milk boiling and then I go to the uh, to our African village bathroom and take a bath. So this is uh, the water that I'm going to be bathing. You see guys it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. But I'm going to pour it all. And then I'll mix in it from here so basically guys we don't have machines to boil water here in the village we boil water using charcoal stove three stone yeah that's all we do so i'm going to be putting in cold water yeah it's only actually in towns maybe you find people having uh, machines but in the villages you hardly find machines <laughs> Yes, so let's mix in cold water. So, this is how you get to know that your water is warm, as good as warm. It was very hot, so I'm trying to make it warm. So, you put in your two fingers like this to ensure the water is not too cold, it doesn't get too cold, it doesn't get too hot. I hope this is good enough for me. So let's get to the bathroom from here. <laughs> let's go, guys, and take a bath. A morning bath. It's actually around nine, but like some minutes. Okay, let's get to the bathroom, guys. I'll be all the time. Yes, guys, I have with me the hand. I'm going to first sleep where I'm going to be bathing. Yeah. This is uh, the veranda. Normally, when people don't have bathrooms, they do not uh, decide to bathe from the veranda. I'm going to be sleeping here. I'm going to do the bathroom from here. I'm going to really uh, do work or bathe from a clinic area.
I know the head broom suits better than the soft broom, broom because it just takes out all the dirt or like hard dirt so the child will move by something soft. Eh? We are having with us my soft dish. <laughs> my soft dish, my soap. I'm going to use to bathe. My sponge, a brush, and a scrub. But like scrub the legs, like the feet. And I'm going to get my water. But in the villages, if you don't have a, bath, have a bathroom, this is where you, you got to bathe from, definitely. And I'll be showing you how my bathroom looks. So let's get that here. Uh, my soap. This soap, I told you, you can use it for even washing clothes. So I think this is the perfect view. This looks better, guys. So let's get started. Let's get started. Baby, you need to. This is how it is here in the village. My water is warm, by the way. Very, very warm. Super warm. Eh? How village people bathe, guys. Exactly. Low and uncut. Exactly. Just like this. you can bend like this But you have to make sure you scrub your armpits, they can smell if you don't scrub it. Yeah. So guys, this is what I wanted to show you. I would be in villages. Of course, and of course, this is uh, an African outfit. This is my outfit. We call them Titengi here in the village. 
and uh, it's super super good so i'm done with the video thank you for watching in case you haven't subscribed kindly do so don't forget to subscribe we'll be getting into the house wash our sponge and then we'll be good to go but i'm done with bathing and uh, yeah let's go let's go the we can scrub our our see it because the water wasn't enough so let's go guys let's get moving so that's how the place looks that's where i bathed from guys <laughs> at the veranda people bathe from the veranda here in the villages just in the corner or like at the back of the house on the veranda where people can't easily find you but we do that here a lot here in the villages let me know in the comment if you do bathe from the verandas in your country and like at the back of your house we do that a lot so let's go And then we use this stone, it is used for scrubbing legs. Use this stone for scrubbing the feet, just like this. See? And the dead skin will go off. It's the dead skin that develops on the feet. Stone can be able to take it off immediately. So, let's do this. This one is still scrub here, guys. To clean off the dead skin from your feet. <laughs> this is how it looks. We call it a chunga chunga be in my language, but I don't know how you call it, and I don't know if you have it in your countries. Let me show it to you. This is how it looks. Yeah. Do you have it in your country? Have you ever seen it? Let me know in the comment. But it just looks like this. Right? So, use it to scrub the feet good. Yeah. Then for this brush. It can also be used to yeah, clean the nails eh? like this to get out all the dust from the nails just like this. You see there? Yeah? The nails are very clean. Or you have to put soap first and then you clean like this. Wow, it's amazing. clean but anyway i feel fresh and clean thank you for watching my water was warm i won't be able to do the cheaper stuff uh, okay let me read the comment if you love this video what do you think about this video let me know i'm with bathing and i'm good to go yeah, i need to wash the sponge uh -huh. So 
So let me know what you think about this video. Thank you so much, my guy. Bless you.